<laughs> Hello. This is 24 Pixels, and this video is about the rarest and contagious diseases caused by viruses and bacteria. I present to you the work of Nightmare 5. The last on this list is. Well, you know what I mean, just watch till the end to know. Let's proceed with the video. Though it's most common in livestock, Rift Valley fever is a mosquito-borne disease that can also infect people. As with Zika, most people with Rift Valley fever do not show symptoms. However, for those who do, symptoms can include severe fever and body aches that can last 7 to 10 days. Most people survive, but it can be fatal. The virus has also shown to cause some neurological problems. The virus started in Eastern Africa, but in the last few decades, it has spread throughout that continent and the Middle East. The virus has some nasty symptoms that start with a high fever, chills and vomiting, and can develop into seizures and even coma. Its mortality rate, according to Dr. William Klimstra, an associate professor in the University of Pittsburgh Center for Vaccine Research, is over 30%. Unlike diseases like Zika and chikungunya, EF has been in the United States for many years, but since only a handful of Americans are infected each year, it's remained off the radar. Klimstra says the biggest concern is that EF could undergo a genetic change that makes it more likely to spread among humans. It's lurking in our midst, he says. It's a tick-borne infection that can cause fever, chills and headache, as well as muscle pain, vomiting and bleeding. Some people have a second wave of symptoms that include tremors and vision problems. Limited to India so far. The virus was identified in 1957 when it was found in a sick monkey in the Kyasanar forest there. Today, around 400 to 500 people per year are sickened by the virus. CDC director Dr. Tom Frieden says the fact that there are a lot of dangerous organisms out there. And with the amount of mobility and travel and trade that we have, we need to expect the unexpected. Symptoms of the virus are similar to dengue and are characterized by fever, nausea, vomiting and possible brain inflammation. It more often infects animals like rats, but the virus has mutated to infect larger animals like donkeys and horses, as well as thousands of humans. It's mainly found in South and Central America, but the virus does have a history of making its way into the US. Like all viruses, the concern is that Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus will mutate to more easily spread to people in urban settings. Elizabeth Kinja is a type of bacteria that is hard to treat with antibiotics and is often resistant to them. Symptoms are fever, shortness of breath, chills and sometimes death. At least 17 people in Wisconsin died after being infected with the bacteria, which has sickened more than 50 people in that state and one in Michigan. Infections have been reported in 12 counties in Wisconsin, including Milwaukee. Authorities are currently investigating the outbreak. Health experts have not confirmed whether Elizabeth Kinja caused the deaths, since all the people involved had underlying health conditions, though the situation is worrying. Thank you for staying and watching, and can you please help me by hitting that subscribe and like button?